Welcome to this video in which we're going to talk about three ways that you can learn Microsoft Power Apps. My name is Dougie Wood and I'm the Creative Director here at Valto. I am also a Microsoft MVP. The objective of today's video is for me to showcase to you some ways that you can learn Microsoft Power Apps. You've probably already started your learning journey using YouTube videos to understand what is Microsoft Power Apps. However, this video is to try and fast track your learning to take you to the next level. It's for the true kind of beginners starting off on your journey um, that are looking to fast track your learning to get to a point where you can start building out apps sooner rather than later. I'm gonna give you some resources, resources for the true beginner. So perhaps this isn't even for you, but it's some good resources that you could pass to your colleagues if you're looking at building out kind of a community of citizen developers. So the first top tip is about the Microsoft Power Apps training template. Now in previous videos, you'll have seen that I've talked about Power Apps templates in general. So Power Apps offers a whole host of different templates that you can use for free. A lot of them are just kind of the shell of an application. They're sort of 50% of what you would truly need in a production environment, but it gives you a good platform to get started. What I'm talking about specifically here is the Power Apps Training Template, which is um, an app that teaches you the basics of building your own Power App application with inside of itself. So it is a Power App teaching you about building Power Apps. It's got over 20 different exercises and tasks contained within it. Each one just takes a few minutes to complete. You will learn how to build your own app in a hands-on way in a guided path and it will only let you move on to the next task once you've completed the previous task. It's completely free, it's built by Microsoft, so go and check this out. I'm gonna show you a quick demo of what this looks like, but I really do recommend that you deploy this and you follow the full pathway as one of the first things that you do to learn about Power Apps. So let's dive in and look at how do we deploy this and how do we start following the task that it recommends. So starting off from the home page of Microsoft 365, which is just office.com, I'm gonna search the top bar here for Power Apps, and then I'm gonna select on Power Apps. Now this is gonna take me to the make area of Power Apps. This is the kind of area that you can create Power Apps and see previous Power Apps that you have created. So I'm gonna click on the Create button on the left-hand side to create a brand new Power App. And you can see there's a bunch of different ways you can get started by creating Power Apps from Dataverse or SharePoint or Excel. But what I'm interested in is going down to this templates area here. And this is what I was talking about before in terms of there being loads of different templates which Microsoft offer out of the box. So go and check those out afterwards, but that's not necessarily what I'm talking about right now. Right now I'm talking about this Power Apps training Canvas app template. So you click into this and you give it a name. So you give it whatever name you like. Um, I would just call it Power Apps training or, or something on the lines of that. You could call it Hello World or My First App or something like that if you wanted to. It's totally up to you. But I would suggest that you call it Power Apps Training just so you know exactly what it is. Click on Create, and what that will do is it will then create you a brand new Power App, and it will open up the Power Apps Maker Studio. Now within here, this is where you can start learning about Power Apps straight away. So if I just click on the Skip button, this is now my app. Now. I'm not gonna go into the full details about how our Power App is built, but you can see on the left-hand side, these are all the different areas inside of the tree view of all the different screens. So Canvas apps are a bit like PowerPoint to a certain extent, where you've got different screens and then you've got components which sit within that screen. But again, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be teaching you too much about Power Apps in this video. This is what this application is for. This is what this training app template is for, is to teach you. So if I click on the play button, this will just bring up the app a little bit better so we can see that actually a bunch of these different tasks are locked. You can only move on to them once you've completed the previous action. So I'm gonna click on the next button and that's then gonna take me through to this particular page. Now it's just giving me a bit of about text about what this app is, what it's used for uh, and things like that. So I'm gonna say the task is now complete because I've read this text and then click on to next. And this is my first basics uh, tasks which is asking me to change some things. Now, you can only update an app in edit mode. So currently I'm in play mode, so I need to come out of this, click on the escape button across the top, 
and now I'm back into edit mode of the app. Now I need to edit this app. So these are the things it's asking me to do. It's asking me to change the color of this box. It's asking me to um, change the font of this uh, size, sorry, the, the size of this font. It's asking me to add a image into this box. So let's go ahead and do those things. So to change the fill color, we're just gonna select on the color box. And then we go over to this property panel on the right hand side. I'm gonna change color, I'm gonna make this red. Same with the font, I'm gonna click on this and I just need to change the size. So go to font size and let's say, let's make this 22. Then I'm gonna change this image. So I just need to add an image to this. So I'm gonna select on the image property and, and then I'm gonna click on add an image file. And then I'm gonna select this arrow, for example. So you can see now there was a hidden button here. This next button was there um, just waiting for me to complete those tasks. And then once I've completed those tasks, I go back into play mode, click on next, and that'll then move me onto the navigation. So now it's giving me a whole new set of tasks um, that I can follow up with. And I'm learning about the basics of Power Apps, navigation, formulas, rules, variables, the camera control. It's gonna teach me all those different things with inside of itself. So go ahead, play with this, go all the way through all of the different tasks, and that'll really fast track your learning for Power Apps. The second top tip of learning Microsoft Power Apps is to use the Microsoft Learning Pathways website. Again, this is totally free. It's developed by Microsoft. It's a set of guided training videos, text, um, as well as it contains uh, like a test your knowledge quizzes after each key module. They are also grouped in a way that relates to Microsoft exams. So a lot of people will be aiming to achieve a Microsoft exam. For example, the PL900 is the Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals exam, meaning that's the, the entry level exam to say that you know what you're talking about when you've been working with Microsoft Power Platforms such as Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI, and so on. So let's jump in and take a quick look at what this looks like. To get to this from Google, I find the easiest way is if you just go and search, for example, um, PL900 Learning Pathway. And then you can see across the top up here, we've got Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals Training. We click into that. And that's then going to bring us to this page. So you can see the overall kind of learning pathway for Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals is roughly about six and a half hours. From my experience, to be honest, I think they over egg this a little bit. Um, so I would probably say, take that with a pinch of salt. If you're really gonna take your time with it, you're really gonna read every last little word very carefully and you're gonna repeat things and you're gonna sort of be maybe going over certain modules a couple of times, then potentially that is the real time. Um, if you're kind of a quick learner, then I tend to find a lot of these, you could take it with a bit of a pinch of salt, and maybe this might be only more like four hours, for example. Um, but it's up to you. It, 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 it truly depends on where you are inside of your learning journey. But I would start with this as a particular uh, learning pathway. As you scroll down, you can see you can click on start, which just starts the whole of the uh, learning pathway, or you can jump into specific modules. You can see the modules which this learning pathway contains is things like describe the business value of Microsoft Power Platform. And then within that, there's sections within each module. The module itself will tell you roughly how long it will take, as well as how many units it's uh, got inside of it. So this one's got eight, for example. Um, so these are all the different modules which make this up. Um, so as you go through it, you will kind of be quizzed on your knowledge for each module. And then once you've completed it all, um, you're then ready, essentially, to take the exam. So at the bottom of this, if I scroll right back down, oh, somewhere on here. Um, ah, they've moved the link. So if you click on this uh, link here, this will take you to the booking area for the exam as well. So once you've completed the learning pathways, you'll be ready to take that exam. So this is a great place um, to, to, a lot of people know about the exams, but not everybody knows that there are training materials which will get you to that exam. So I would go and check this out. Um, again, follow it. It's much more um, structured 
than maybe just going off and just trying to Google different things around Power Apps and putting something together yourself. It will follow, again, it's called a learning pathway because it will guide you through what you need to know. Um, there's some areas that you might not necessarily need to know um, related to, to what it is you're trying to build, but it gives you a really good understanding, the fundamentals of everything that you need to know about Power Platform, and then there might be certain areas that you dig into later on. You can search within this Learning Pathways area for specific modules. If you weren't looking for um, to complete an, an exam, you just wanted to know about, say, a certain type of Power App, you could just go and search in there and find a module just related to that as well. And then the final way of learning, and this is not so obvious to people, but ChatGPT. Like, if you've not heard of ChatGPT, what rock have you been living under? Because ChatGPT really is the kind of the future of helping people build out, um, bu building out power apps applications. Um, the, this is, again, completely free. Uh, if you're getting started using Power Apps, it can be really useful answering questions. So just ask it something generic, like what is Microsoft Power Apps? And it'll be able to give you a bit of an answer about what it is and why people use it. Um, you can also use this for writing code. So again, not everyone realizes that ChatGPT can write code for you. So the formulas that Power Apps uses, you could ask it to write for you. Um, so if your formula is not working or you just want to sort of see how you could approach writing something, you could use ChatGPT for this. So let's have a quick look at this. So let's say, for example, you want to create a button um, inside of your Microsoft Power App, which is going to, when you click on it, launch and open a new tab to a particular website. So let's just ask it to say, please write me a Power Apps formula Let's maybe just make it easier. Let's just say Microsoft Power Apps Formula to open www.valto.co.uk website when clicking on a button. So then when I ask it this, it's going to say, okay, you need to use the launch function, which is totally true. That's exactly what you need to do. Um, it will guide you through to say, add a button control to your Power Apps screen, select the button and in the on select property, enter the following formula. Here's a formula to launch it. Uh, save and run your app. This is step by step. Not only is it giving you that formula, it's giving you the step by steps of exactly what you need to do, where you need to put the the button, uh, where you need to put the, the the formula inside of the button, on what property is it on select property. What more do you need to know? <laughs> it's going to guide you through this step by step. So the AI kind of doesn't just kind of like stop and start with ChatGPT. Microsoft are also rolling out a whole suite of co-pilot tools for Microsoft, including the Power Platform. There is going to be a co-pilot for Power Apps, which um, you'll be able to type in, say, build me an app which has these particular fields in it, for example, and it'll go away and create that. The first kind of iteration of Copilot is going to be very simplistic, but eventually it should get better and better. Hopefully, building in things like this ChatGPT, uh, maybe with such things like Bing Enterprise um, chat, would also be able to do something similar to ChatGPT. But I just wanted to show you the fundamental element of the AI ChatGPT type of functionality that you can use to not only understand Power Apps, but also ask it questions. It can just be that extra guide. So if you're the only person in your organization which is trying to learn about Power Apps currently, so you don't necessarily have colleagues to bounce ideas from, you can use ChatGPT and it will get you a lot of the way to the, the fundamentals of what Power Apps is about. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, if you did, please do like the video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're interested in Power Apps, it's worth knowing that Valto are a Microsoft partner. So we can help you uh, get started with your Power Apps journey. And that can be taken in three different ways. We offer a Power Apps development workshop. So if you're looking for somebody to build a Power App for you or alongside you, we can scope out those requirements and give you a fixed price for building that out. We also offer a Power Platform Strategy Workshop. Now, this is vital. If you're starting your journey with Power Platform, including Power Apps, Power Ultimate, and all those other cool products, then you need a bit of a strategy to make sure that your data is properly governed, everything's secure, the right people have the right access, and a whole host of other things. So that particular workshop will help you build out to make sure that you've got a sturdy, governed roadmap about how you're going to be rolling out the Power Platform to your organization. 
We also offer a Power Platform adoption program. So once we've done that strategy workshop, we can then run, say, a six-week kind of boot camp to get people upskilled, know what they're doing, maybe build out some basic um, Power Apps alongside citizen developers and make sure that everyone's comfortable with what they're doing through a train-the-trainer type of program. However, we offer a bunch of other services related to Microsoft 365, not just Power Apps. So we offer things like SharePoint intranet workshops, Microsoft 365 security hardening to make sure that your data is secure and safe, retention, so making sure that your documents have to go through a particular uh, retention cycle or sensitivity labels to make sure that people can only access the documents they should be able to. We also offer tenant to tenant migrations, email migrations, and so much more. So if you've got any questions or you'd like any support, please email hello at valto.co.uk and a member of our team will reach out to you today. Thank you very much for watching this video and keep your eyes peeled for future videos on our YouTube channel.